go ahead and give us that introduction, that silky smooth intro. Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games to our game design. And today we are playing more Bastion. Episode 5. <laughs> hey, welcome back everybody. We This is going to be the last episode for this session, so be sure to vote at the end of this episode if you want us to play more. Because we'll play more. Because we will absolutely play more. We'll play more. You'll probably play this if we don't get more votes, but play yep. it by yourself. Fly. <laughs> I feel like it's more like dropping, not flying. I know, players. I'm like, how does he not die when he lands? The dead welcome him with open arms. Oh. <laughs> so grim and then yet kind of funny, yeah, but also like, like just, still yeah, kind of gruesome. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees a plain, frozen faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. I like how they turn something like player behavior of breaking everything in order to search for loot. Like that's very much what that was, right? Yeah, absolutely. And they turn that into narrative about yeah. the character. Exactly. He's like, he's like, oh, he didn't want to see it. It's just too much. Exactly. I like that a lot. It's no. such a, like a good use of that narration. This kind of bums me out, man. Like I'm just a little bummed. I'm just a little. It is. These this is a really sad level. Calamity coming. But someone did. Someone close. That, I don't like that. I don't like what that means. That means that like that means it's gonna be something we know or It means this level's got a lot in store for you. Yeah. That's what that I means. I don't know if my heart's ready for this. <laughs> someone away like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. Oh. That was who you just destroyed. Yeah, I know, but that's, I thought this is the first time I heard names. Like him. Oh. Yep. He's colorful. <laughs> well, they've used names for some of it. There again, in the flesh. We, we've heard it's names. Snag or two trying to get to him. And this is why we keep talking over the narration. <laughs> it does happen a lot. Oh, you can block it. I don't think you can counter it though. Can you? <laughs> That's kind of fantastic. That's poor Ooh. shit. Yeah, that's what your ranged weaponry is for, buddy. Yeah, well, I want to smash through my hammer. Got <laughs> many questions after all. You know, I gotta say, one one thing that watching all the E three like presentations, um, or at least some of them, right? Like all the Nintendo ones, for example. Yes. The one good thing about them is that it makes me feel better as a YouTuber and someone that like talks while playing games. Yes. Because like you can tell that. Just oh, did you see that? Sorry. Answers. That was that was actually really I'm awesome. I'm sorry. That was super cool. I never do cool things like that. And they do they do a good job at E3. I don't want to like bash Why? them or anything. No, of course not. But you can tell that they're not as like as practiced because it's like Nintendo the the club Nintendo or N treehouse or whatever it is right whatever whatever they're calling themselves they're these like days. the localization team which is so weird that they're the one that they are the ones presenting these like yeah. keynotes and stuff um but you can tell that they they're not used to playing games and talking about them in like breaking down the some of them have gotten a lot better over the years um, right because they've had enough practice at this but you hope that after this many years they'd be like yeah i know why i have these words but like it makes me feel good because you know seeing where we started we sucked we were way worse than they ever were um but like we do this you know at least once or twice a week right we're, 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 we've been doing this we've been doing this for more than a year now gdpg yeah. that is he survived and uh I don't know. I feel like it, it's it's gratifying. Yeah. Let's um, talk about the music let's, for a second. Well, hold, hold on, actually, we're gonna pause because our camera's overheating. Oh, so I'm gonna restart good. that really oh, quick. Jeez, it's oh, it's warm in here. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, just fix our camera. This uh, recording room turns into a sauna when we're in here long enough. Kid yeah. Finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Ooh, look at that. That was some decent. Uh... Decent uh, shard. Shardage. Shard. <laughs> that does not sound good. <laughs> so I think so you were going to talk about the music. Yes. Without that man, we wouldn't be here right now. Interesting. Sorry, this, the narration's crazy here. Um, so I feel like the music they set up so perfectly, like it went from like this kind of just like this. 
there's an adventurous vibe, and now all of a sudden it's like we're into the deep material. We're, we're getting the first real chunk of story mm -hmm. here. The core so survived as well. Nicely done. Yeah. I didn't even use my bow, so weird. Kid does what he has to do. And then... Dude, this narration is so good. Right. But I agree. I think the music is phenomenal. Uh, one thing I haven't really gotten a chance to talk about is how uh, both Intangible and I, when this game first came out and we both fell in love with it, yeah. the very first thing we did was we bought the physical CD. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? As you should have. And it, we got it signed by Darren Korb because we think that he's a musical no genius. Kid yeah. has a clue. Uh -huh. But he says this. We have to go. Please. This is what the kid says to him. I love that it blacks out at that point, too. It just... He's a proper gentleman, that mm, man. Feels so powerful. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Well, I guess they never really introduced themselves to each other. I know, isn't that... It's, you don't really think about that until he says that, but... We fought the era decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. And this kid's an era, right, Zuff? Zolf, yeah. Zolf, oh, that's an owl. So basically what they have going on is, oh. is a setup. Yeah, now you can hear what his For perspective Zolf, is on those. It was like a second home. His real word about his first home, too. Far to the east. So they've Zolf got that eastern-western thing going on. Kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. That is so cool. Right? So the one thing, that, uh, especially about the music, that I think... Remember, that's why this place is coming oh. here. That's mm -hmm. why things are going to be all right. It just keeps building yeah, and building. It's super cool. So the music... So obviously now well, that we, we know there's people. this kind of Eastern versus Western thing going yeah. on, um, and this... This is this is the world, right? Like everything from this point on, we're going to be learning about like that Eastern culture and the Western, and the Western culture, culture and culture. what happened in our history and how did we get to the point of the calamity? Like this is, it it just kind of blows up from here. The music, especially, is the perfect in in my opinion is like the perfect merging of like a Western feel with Eastern like. Eastern styled music, yeah. like a lot of the instruments and stuff, those two you merging together very well. Exactly. And like, with sort of like a, I don't want to call it like techno, but like slightly electronic Electronics. thing that kind of makes it feel sure. like, it kind of like bridges that gap and makes it like fit into the game and then bridges those both at Eastern and Western yeah, feels absolutely. together. And it's just so seamlessly done. I it's think, it's just so unique. Yeah, right? I think I'll build the memorial. Go for it. I, I really like the memorial, actually. The memorial. The yeah, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. So basically, these are, are little goals. Oh, yeah. And we simply built the memorial. I get to... Addiction. Just another one of my sketches. Yep. And you do, I believe you do kind of rack up um, the, like, your score points for any of these things before you build this. Yeah, this is super interesting. Mm -hmm. But it's a good way to get a lot of shards without, you know, doing much. A lot of these you just kind of naturally do. The one thing I do really like about this is that this is what really encourages players to try different weapons. Look at that. Defeat a hardy foe with the last bolt in a clip. Right? Or with or like the breaker challenge. bow. Defeat three foes with a single well-timed power, power shot. shot. The power shot is something we haven't talked about. Power shot happens as you're charging it. Yes. You know the moment where you kind of like flash? Yes. And that means that you have reached maximum extension. If you shoot, it right, if you there. shoot right when that flash happens, you can do a power shot and it's an, an auto crit. Actually, if you notice, I, accident I accidentally 
did a power shot earlier. <laughs> You're talking at me and nothing. I know, before. but I accidentally did a, a power shot earlier. It, it, it happens accidentally. And that's, um, I didn't realize that's what it was until I, said, I kept doing it. It said power shot. And I'm like, well, that's new. Um, so that's really cool. That's really cool. So just an auto crit. That's and awesome. And it, and it does this with all of these weapons where you can have these different kind of like achievements that you have to, you know, beat. And yeah, then you right. get the reward of extra shards. Uh, but I, I really like that. I think it's a good Words way to encourage players to explore the mechanics of the game. Like oh, yeah, absolutely. Looks like there's nothing new in any of these areas. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we can spend these last few minutes just kind of talking about the game. Well, we are actually at time. Um, since we don't know whether or not you guys are going to vote for this yeah. yet, um, I, I do want to make the question of the day something a little bit bigger than, than most of our other questions have been, and that's that... I want to ask you guys, how do you think that um, they are using both the music and the narration to kind of build up the story and kind of like the con well, not the conflict. I want to say kind of like building a tone for the game. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Like, like a good example is the level we just did. It was very, it was kind of sad and yeah, solemn. Absolutely. But then it ended kind of joyously kind of kind of i mean it was look. it was like sadly happy happy because you think <laughs> there's another person out there yeah but but much like the the stranger said he's like what do you say to a man that's seen too much yeah yeah exactly what do you um and i actually want to know what people think about just the stranger being the narrator Ooh. it's like he talked for zolf too zolf didn't have a voice yeah so what is that what's that saying is that something interesting or would you rather seen a full voice cast for these other characters mm. if more do come down the line. So this one's going to be a two-questioner just because we want to get all the good questions Absolutely. out before uh, we may never come back to this again. But. Yes. And speaking of which, if you guys want to see more of our videos and you want to see more Bastion, please click on the voting options above or on the side. <laughs> Whichever one says Bastion. Whichever one says Bastion. Or there'll be a couple other cool games as well. And Chris and I will be more than happy to play them. Yep. Also, like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys love us, just share these videos and uh, get some people in on this. We really, really want to get more people seeing this cool stuff. And before we leave off, if you are an indie developer and you want to get your game showcased on the show, feel free to send us a build or, or a Steam key or whatever it is. We, we, you know, we, we make sure that we only play games on the show that we have positive things to talk about. Um, not to say that if we don't play your game on the show, we think it's bad. Right. Um, sometimes we can't do it for various reasons. Yes. Like we were sent a mobile game um, that, that, I, just, that we actually really liked. And we, we just, just can't get it to record, <laughs> which is being a pain. <laughs> um, we just don't have the hardware for it. But either way, if you're an indie developer and you want to get your game showcased on the show, and if you're a Chicago local even, we might even want you to come on the show with us. Yes. So send us a message because we'd love to 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 check it out. Absolutely. Well, guys, um, this is it for Bastion for now. But if you do vote for more Bastion, <laughs> we will see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone. See you, guys.